In this video, we're going to learn about the WP login and WP logout action hook. So on the Codex website, this hook is defined with the do action WP login. Okay, and um, this basically fires after the user has successfully logged in. So whenever the user has logged in on the WP admin, after he's successfully logged in, this hook gets fired. Okay, and it accepts two parameters. First is the user login, which is the username. And second is the object of the WP user class. So this will have all the methods and properties available for the WP user class. Okay, and this is defined in WP includes user.php. So if you go to the user.php, you can see that this hook is defined here, WP login. And it uh, uses the user login uh, property of the user method uh, user object which is the object of the WP user class so if you go to class WP user dot PHP which is in the WP includes you can see this is a WP user class defined over here right and um, all these methods uh, will be available into the user object which will be available to your custom function as well and this user login is basically the property of the user object which is of the object of the class wp user okay so it's up to you if you want to use these two parameters or not so let's get that in action i'm going to go to my functions.php of my theme and I have defined this function IHS login redirect, which is my custom function. I'm using add action to attach my custom function to this hook. And uh, as in when the script reaches the do action at this point, which is fired after the user has successfully logged in. So when the user is successfully logged in, then the custom function which is attached to this hook will be called. So in my case, it will be this function will be called. And over here, I'm redirecting the user to my site and exiting it out, exiting it out. Okay, so let's check if that works. So I'm going to log in. Okay. Oops, one second. So I'm going to enter my password. Last time it was incorrect. And I hit enter and you, you can see it's sure enough it's redirected me to my own website because that's what I've mentioned over here, right? Okay, let's try something different this time. So let's go ahead and uh, make use of the parameters that are available in this hook, which is the user login, which is the username basically, and the user object. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, define the next pr uh, parameter for this add action, which is priority S10, and I'm going to define that I'm going to use two of the parameters of this hook. So let's go ahead and call this as username because that's what it is. And this is just user object. Okay, so this is the parameter. The first parameter is just the username. And this is the user object of the class WP user. Okay. I'm going to make use of this, so I'm going to un delete this and uncomment this out. So this is basically redirecting, redirecting the user to uh, the home URL of your site, uh, slash, forward slash, username is equal to username, okay? So when the user logged in, he'll be directed to this site. So let's go ahead and check it out, if that works. And sure enough, you can see that user is directed to the home URL and then the username is equal to admin. So this value is admin because that's the name of the user. Okay, cool. Similarly, for WP logout as well, um, if you go to codex, you can see that WP logout fires after a user is logged in. So both are very similar. The only difference is that this gets fired out when the user has successfully logged out and the WP login gets fired out uh, when the user successfully log, logs in. 
okay so again this is included in the pluggable.php so let's go ahead and check it out which is in WP includes WP includes pluggable dot PHP and we need to search for WP logout yep here it is so as you can see this hook is defined under WP logout yeah, they've got a couple of functions going on here destroy current session clear auth cookie okay so when the user is logged out or after these two functions are run the do action hook defines the WP logout uh, hook and then whatever the custom functions are lashed onto this hook will be called at this point once the user is logged out so let's go ahead and change this to logout and let's make use of this parameter and let's log out so I'm just going to delete this just for a moment okay so let's log out uh, there's something somewhere wrong just one second I'll check all right guys the reason why it was not working because this does not accept any parameters this function basically yeah so I'm gonna remove these two we don't need it because the priority by default is any which way is 10 so we're going to use the WP redirect function and I'm going to redirect it to my site whenever the user logs out so I'm going to use the WP logout hook as in you can clearly see there's no parameter that this hook allows so okay so now it's going to work Let's refresh the page and then login and then so once we log out I should actually go to my site yep sure enough you can see it's gone to my site okay cool so let's just going to confirm if, if we have missed anything um, so it says that WP logout action hook is triggered when a user logs out using WP logout function so you can see that it is uh, using the WP logout function is defined inside of that the action executed after WP clear auth cookie function call so if you already discussed that it's uh, defined after this function and um, you could use this function to delete a transient stored while the user is logged in so you can use that after he logs out then delete all the transient name that's basically the job of that so it basically fires after the user is successfully logged out and then you can perform any action inside of your custom function okay so i hope that helps if you have any questions please leave the comments take care guys see you in the next video